If you've ever gone fishing, you probably know what it's like to snag the biggest catch. But do you know that somewhere out there is the world's largest, strongest, and most dangerous fish that could even be bigger than a human waiting to be discovered? Well, what are we waiting for? You can either grab your fishing rod and head out now or sit back and find out just what you might be up against. From the prehistoric river monsters to the parasitic vampire fish, here are the 20 biggest river monsters ever caught. Number 20. Sockeye Salmon I don't know why it's called the sockeye salmon when this fish clearly has no sockeye, but I think the problem is from a very poor attempt to translate the word suke from British Columbia's native coast Salish language. Suke actually translates to redfish. Like all other Pacific salmon, the sockeye salmon are born in fresh water. However, sockeye requires a lake nearby to be reared in. Once hatched, juvenile sockeyes will stay in their natal habitat for about three years, more than any other salmon. They then journey out to sea where they grow rapidly, feeding mainly on zooplankton. They stay in the ocean for at least one to four years. The sockeye salmon is sometimes referred to as red or blueback salmon due to its color. Sockeye is blue, tinged with silver in color while living in the ocean. But when they return to spawning grounds, their bodies become red and their heads turn green. These creatures can be anywhere from 2 feet 0 inches to 2 feet 9 inches in length and weigh from 2.3 to 7 kilograms. Two distinguishing features are their long, serrated gill rakers that range from 30 to 40 inches number and their lack of a spot on their tail or back. Sockeyes are the third most abundant of the species of Pacific salmons and are a keystone in the North American commercial fisheries. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Beluga Sturgeon The beluga sturgeon, also known as the Huso Huso, is the biggest freshwater fish in the world. The largest beluga ever caught weighed 1,571 kilograms and was 7.2 meters long. However, this fish has been overhunted due to its precious eggs, just like the Kaluga sturgeon. As a result, the species have experienced a rapid decline, thus making the fishing industries and communities that depended on them also die out. The Beluga sturgeon spends most of its time in saltwater seas, mostly in the greatest abundance in the rivers of southern Russia and Ukraine and in the fresh waters of North America. During spawning season, it travels more than a thousand miles on average upstream along the Volga Danube and other rivers around the Caspian and Black Seas. And even though they might be carnivores, the beluga sturgeon poses absolutely no known threat to humans. The eggs or roe are usually small, sticky, and numerous. Number 18. Alligator Gar this prehistoric looking creature is named the alligator gar due to its resemblance to a, an American alligator. This creature looks like something that could have been dreamed up by a Hollywood special effects master. With the long snout crammed with double rows of needle-like teeth, the protective covering of interlocking scales prized by Native Americans for armor and arrowheads, and the sleek torpedo-shaped body all appear purpose-built for combat. But in reality, the alligator gar is a shy, docile creature that can live for decades. Second only to white sturgeon among freshwater fish, when it comes to sheer weight, these slow-growing fish can take a half a century to reach a trophy length of 7 feet, and specimens topping 8 feet have been estimated at 80 to 90 years old. Unlike sturgeon though, which are heavily protected in many parts of their North American range, the largest of the gar subspecies thrives across much of the South and Lower Midwest, historically considered a trash fish by many, alligator gar becoming an increasingly targeted species among recreational anglers. However, the largest documented alligator gar that could be verified as a 327 pounder measured 8 feet, 5 inches long, with a girth of about 47 inches. Number 17. Green Anaconda With an average length of 20 feet and a top length of 29 feet, the green anaconda has earned a title as one of the longest snakes in the world. The green anaconda has a girth of nearly 12 inches and a weight of 550 pounds, making it the heaviest of all snakes. It 
It's native to South America, making its home in swamps, marshes, and streams. Their enormous size makes it much easier for green anacondas to swim in the water than to slither slowly on land. Their eyes and nostrils are on top of their head, allowing them to see and breathe while most of their body is underwater. Most of their time is spent in the water hunting. Although they use both sight and smell for hunting, they also have the ability to sense heat emitted by a potential prey. Green anacondas prey on a variety of animals including fish, birds, tapirs, wild pigs, capybaras, and caimans, reptiles similar to alligators. They've even been known to eat jaguars. Anacondas are not so venomous, so they use constriction instead to subdue their prey. Whenever anaconda sights its target, it will grab the animal in its jaws, locking it in with its teeth. And once firmly grasped, the anaconda will coil around the prey and squeeze it until it dies of crushing or possibly suffocation. It will then swallow the carcass whole. In the case of larger prey, the green anaconda can unhinge its jaw to stretch its mouth around the body. The good thing about the green anaconda is that after a big meal, anacondas can go weeks without eating again. Number 16. Vampire Fish a new species dubbed the vampire fish was recently discovered in the Araguaia River of the Amazon Basin. The origin of the random title is the species' form of feeding. The yet unnamed fish is a parasitic species that lives off the blood of its hosts. The vampire fish is a close but smaller relative of the candiru, a similarly parasitic, blood-sucking species of catfish found in the same region. The candiru happens to be notorious in the Amazon for its unpleasant parasitic practices. This catfish burrows into body orifices, securing itself to its host with spines along its sides and drinking its blood. These fish detect their prey by water streams coming from other fish's gills or, in the case of humans, urine streams. The new fish species is transparent and is only about 25 millimeters long. Scientists believe it is likely to feed off of larger fish by swimming into their gill slits. It's too early to determine whether or not the fish targets hosts as large as humans, but try to be careful not to swim in rivers and lakes you're unsure of. The species was discovered in the murky depths of the bottom of the Amazon River during the filming of a BBC series entitled Amazon Abyss. Three other fish species were also found, but the vampire fish is the star of the day. For the program, an international team of divers and scientists had set out to record life at the deepest reaches of the river. The area where the vampire fish was discovered comprises a series of great scars in the riverbed that are more than 300 feet deep in places. Scientists have only begun to explore these mysterious areas but are already uncovering numerous strange things. Number 15. Electric Eels Native to tropical river systems in South America, electric eels are no strangers to the record books, having long been recognized as the most electric fish and indeed the most electric animals overall. However, a new paper published in Nature Communications has revealed that certain electric eels have more spark than others. Since they were first scientifically described in 1766, it has been thought that only one electric eel species exists, which is Electrophorus electris. Now, a multinational team of experts representing several universities and museums across Brazil, Suriname, and the USA, and as far as Switzerland, has rewritten the electric eel family tree. The crazy thing is that early signs indicate that electrical organ discharge, EOD, intensity, in other words, maximum electrical output, differs between the different types, with one forefoot specimen of E. volti unleashing an unexpected 860 volts. Until now, the highest output documented for any electric eel is between 550 and 650 volts, which means that E. volti officially takes the trophy of nature's most electric animal. Despite their name, electric eels are not exactly true eels. Eels. They belong to the knifefish family, which itself falls under a wider group of South American fish known as the gymnotiforms. One outstanding feature of gymnotiforms is their ability to generate bioelectricity. Different fish use this ability, which varies in strength for different functions, including stunning prey, navigating the murky waters of rainforest waterways, and as a form of self-defense against predators. Number 14. Bull Shark the 2015 monster shark alert happened to revolve around a 600-pound animal caught in the Hastings River by an Australian fisherman. While this is without a doubt an impressive shark, there's really no reason to panic. Based on the reports, this was no random catch. The man who reeled in the animal on the mid-north coast of New South Wales, Dennis Rivers, is a sport fisherman who specializes in landing big game, including sharks. So you might be wondering what such a big animal was doing in the Hastings River. Well, we tend to think of sharks as ocean dwellers. 
But like saltwater crocodiles, bull sharks are known to easily adjust their biological processes to increase salt retention of fresh or brackish waters. They do this for a number of reasons, including finding food, but the Hastings River visit was most likely related to breeding. This was confirmed because it was stated that the shark was fat around the belly, so she must have been coming up the river to drop her pups. Bull sharks have been known to travel up the Mississippi River as far as Alton, Illinois, about 1,100 kilometers from the ocean. However, few freshwater human shark interactions have been recorded. Larger sized bull sharks are probably responsible for the majority of nearshore shark attacks, including many bites attributed to other species. And unlike the river sharks of the genus Glyphus, bull sharks are not true freshwater sharks, despite their ability to survive in freshwater habitats. Number 13. Arapaima also known as the Paichi or the Piraruku. The Arapaima is an air-breathing fish that inhabits the rainforest rivers of South America's Amazon basin and nearby lakes and swamps. Being one of the world's largest freshwater fish species, these giants can grow up to at most 15 feet long and weigh up to 440 pounds. Sadly, fish that big has not been reported for many years now. The most common size should be about 6 feet long and 200 pounds. As obligate air breathers, Arapaimas can only stay underwater for about 10 to 20 minutes. They tend to stay near the water's surface before coming up to breathe using a modified swim bladder that opens up into the fish's mouth to serve as a lung. The noisy, distinctive gulp it makes sounds almost like a cough and can be heard from far away. This South American giant uses a gulper feeding strategy. By opening its large mouth, the fish creates a vacuum that pulls in nearby food objects. Arapaimas survive mainly on fish, but they're also known to eat fruits, seeds, and sometimes insects. As fierce predators, they can also use short bursts of speed to leap out of the water to grab animals like birds, lizards, and even small primates from low-hanging trees. Arapaima gigas was long believed to be the only species of Arapaima, but as of 2013, scientists proved that another species of the fish exists. Since then, further studies have shown that there may be five or more species of Arapaimas. Sometimes referred to as the cod of the Amazon, Arapaimas are considered an excellent food fish and have provided an important source of protein in the Amazon for centuries now. Number 12. Freshwater Sawfish Freshwater or large-toothed sawfish has yellow-brown, gray, or somewhat greenish color on the upper side of their bodies and a creamy white on the bottom side. The large, slender, shark-like gray has a flattened blade-like snout called a rostrum, with about 20 pairs of lateral, equally spaced teeth that are actually modified scales. The maximum size of a freshwater sawfish has been reported to be between 20 to 21.5 feet in length and 1,100 to 1,400 pounds in weight. The nocturnal sawfish forages for food at night and rests on the bottom during the day. The main function of its rostrum is to dig in sediment or food, attack prey, and especially for defense. They eat crustaceans, mollusks, and other bottom dwellers. Schools of fish such as herring and mullet mean good luck because it makes for easy foraging with the saw thrashing from side to side. The large toothed sawfish can be found worldwide in tropical and subtropical coastal regions, but it also enters freshwater and has been recorded in rivers as far as 1,340 kilometers from the sea. As suggested by the alternative name Common Sawfish, it had a large population but has now declined drastically, leading to it being considered a critically endangered species by the IUCN. The main threat is overfishing, but it also suffers from habitat loss. Both their fins are used in shark fin soup and the saw, which is used as a novelty item, is highly valuable. And sadly, they have unintentionally made themselves victims because of the saw, which makes it very easy for them to get entangled in fishing nets. Number 11. Mekong Giant Catfish The Mekong Giant Catfish is the official freshwater heavyweight champion of the world. According to the Guinness Book of Records, a 9-foot-long catfish caught in northern Thailand in 2005 weighed an astounding 646 pounds, making it the largest exclusively freshwater fish ever recorded. Despite its gargantuan size, but also because of this size, the giant catfish lives a tenuous existence in the murky waters of its native river, Southeast Asia's Mekong, where its numbers have plummeted so dramatically that the species is at the brink of extinction. Ranging from gray to white in color and lacking stripes, the Mekong giant catfish has very low set eyes, which gives it a slightly sad looking appearance. They are distinguished from other large catfish species by their near total lack of barbels, or whiskers, as well as by the absence of teeth. 
Though juveniles have barbels, these features shrink with age. The Mekong giant catfish has one of the fastest growth rates of any fish in the world, and it is believed that they can reach up to 440 pounds in only 6 years. They can live up to 60 years. These giant catfish were once populated throughout the Mekong Basin, but their numbers are believed to have dropped by at least 95% over the past century. With no population figures available, estimates of the decline are based on the fall in the number of fish caught. Some experts think there may be only a few hundred or even fewer adults left in the Mekong River. Number 10. The Nile Perch Nile perches were introduced to Lake Victoria in the 1950s to boost the fishing industry. Though the introduction of the Nile perch didn't go as planned, as it hugely resulted in an economic disaster, it almost caused cichlids, native fish, to go extinct. The species is silver in color with a blue tinge. It has distinctive dark black eyes with a bright yellow outer ring. One of the largest freshwater fishes, it reaches a maximum length of nearly 6 feet 7 inches, weighing up to 440 pounds. And as for mature fish average, that would be 4 feet 0 inches to 4 feet 6 inches. Unfortunately, many fish are caught before they can grow this large, but chances that you get to see one might just be there waiting for you. Adult Nile perch occupy all habits of a lake with sufficient oxygen concentrations, while juveniles are restricted to shallow or nearshore environments. As a fierce predator that dominates its surroundings, the Nile perch feeds on fish, including its own species, crustaceans, and sometimes insects, while the juveniles feed on zooplankton. Nile perch use schooling as a mechanism to protect themselves from other predators. Number 9. Giant Mottled Eel the giant mottled eel is one of the largest species of eel in the world and it's the most widely distributed species of angulate eel. The species can be easily identified from other angulate eels by its mottled coloration, arrangement of teeth, and the long dorsal fin, which begins closer to the gill than opening to the rear. The teeth in both jaws are arranged in two or three rows. One row consists of distinctly enlarged teeth that often form a cutting edge. The inner row comprises smaller teeth that are usually separated from the cutting row by a narrow toothless groove. It can grow up to 6.6 .6 feet for females and 4.9 feet for males and can weigh up to at most 45 pounds, making it the largest species of angulid eels. The beautiful thing about this marbled eel is that it can live up to about 40 years. And just like other angulid eels, the species is used as a source of food in some regions. Some restaurants buy live eels. In 1992, for example, a typical 12 kilogram, which is about 26 and a half pounds worth of marbled eel, retailed for 1,000 US dollars in China. It is found in warm freshwater habitats, including small oceanic islands from western Indian Ocean across the Indo-Pacific to French Polynesia, and as far north as southern Japan. Number 8. Trout Lake trout, or Salvalinus nemecush, is a freshwater char living mainly in lakes in northern North America. In Lake Superior, it can be variously known as Ciscoet, Paperbelly, and Lean. The lake trout is prized both as a game fish and as a food fish. Those caught with dark coloration may be referred to as mud hens. Generally, they are the largest of the shars, with the record weighing almost 102 pounds with a length of 50 inches, 15 to 40 pound fish are not uncommon. The average length should be about 24 to 36 inches. But the largest ever caught on a rod and reel according to the IGFA weighed 72 pounds with a length of 59 inches, and it was caught in Giant Bear Lake in 1995. Lake trout inhabit cold, oxygen-rich waters. They are usually pelagic during the period of summer stratification in demictic lakes, often living at depths of 66 to 197 feet. The lake trout is a slow-growing fish typical of oligotrophic waters. It is also usually very late to mature. Populations are extremely susceptible to overfishing. Many native lake trout populations have been severely damaged by hatchery planting and overharvest combined. Another threat to lake trout is acidification, which can have long-term effects on their populations by either directly hurting them or reducing the prey population. Number 7. Giant Salamander 
The giant salamanders include the largest living amphibians that are native to China, Japan, and the eastern United States. The largest species are in the genus Andreas, native to East Asia. The South China giant salamander, also known as Andreas sligoli, can reach a length of 5.9 feet and feeds at night on fish and crustaceans. It has also been known to live in captivity more than 50 years. The large folds of skin along their flanks help increase the animal's surface area, allowing them to be able to absorb more oxygen from the water. They have four toes on the four limbs and five on the hind limbs. They also have pedomorphic traits, meaning their metamorphosis from the larval stage is incomplete. They also have lungs and lack eyelids. They have a stout body with a heavy, laterally compressed tail and terrible eyesight. The Chinese giant salamander eats aquatic insects, fish, frogs, crabs, and shrimp. They usually hunt at night because of their poor eyesight. Instead, they use sensory nodes on their heads and bodies to detect minute changes in water pressure, enabling them to find their prey. Number 6. King Salmon the king salmon, also known as the Chinook salmon, is blue-green, red, or purple on the back and top of the head, with silvery sides and white ventral surfaces. It has black spots on its tail and upper half of its body. Although spots are seen on the tail in pink salmon and silver on the tail in coho and chum salmon, Chinooks are unique among the Pacific salmon in combining black spots and silver on the tail. Another distinctive feature is a black gum line that is present in both salt and freshwater. Adult fish range in size from 24 to 36 inches, but may be up to 58 inches in length. In weight, they average 10 to 50 pounds, but may reach up to 130 pounds. The meat can be either pink or white in color, depending on what the salmon have been feeding on. Historically, the native distribution of Chinook salmon in North America ranged from the Ventura River in California in the south to Kotzebu Sound in Alaska in the north. But recent studies have shown that Chinook salmon are historically native to the Guadalupe River watershed, the southernmost major metropolitan area hosting salmon runs in the United States. Populations have disappeared from large areas where they once flourished, however, shrinking by as much as 40%. Number 5. Queensland Grouper The Queensland Grouper is one of the largest bony fishes and is the largest on coral reefs. The species has been implicated in fatal attacks on humans, but sadly, none are fully documented. The Queensland groper has a large mouth and rounded caudal fin. On the other hand, juveniles have irregular black and yellow markings. The adults are green-gray to gray-brown with faint mottling and numerous small black spots on the fins. They inhabit tropical waters throughout the Indo-Pacific, but are also recorded occasionally in temperate waters. In Australia, it is known from the south coast of Western Australia, around the tropical north of the country, and south to the southern coast of New South Wales. The giant grouper can grow to a huge size with the maximum recorded standard length being 110 inches, although they are more common around 71 inches, and a maximum published weight of 880 pounds. They can be found at depths of 3.3 to 328.1 feet. Large specimens have been caught from shore and in harbors. Number 4. Giant Barb The giant barb, which is also known as the Siamese carp, has a storied history in its native Southeast Asia. It appears in ancient temple carvings at Angkor in Cambodia and has been named the national fish. It is also found in Mekong Chow Phraya and Meklong River basins. Giant barbs often frequent deep pools along the river's edge, but they can also move seasonally into canals or floodplains in search of food. Known to reach at most 660 pounds, it is the largest carp species in the world earning it the nickname the King of Fish in South Asia. With a massive head and thick, blubbery lips, the giant barb has scaled almost the size of a human palm. Slow-moving and almost exclusively vegetarian, these giant fish feed on phytoplankton, as well as algae, seaweed, and fruits of submerged terrestrial plants. Today, only a few barbs live to maturity. The main threats are from habitat loss due to pollution, dams, and overfishing. The sharp population decline is well illustrated by catch data from Cambodia, where 200 tons of giant barbs were caught in 1964. By 1980, only about 50 fish were caught, and sadly by 2000, there were only 10 caught. Number 3. Wells Catfish The Wells Catfish is one of the world's largest freshwater fish species. 
with individuals often reaching lengths of up to 3 meters and weights of up to 150 kilograms, although typically Welsh catfish range in size from 1.3 to 1.6 meters, long and weighs about 15 to 20 kilograms. Welsh catfish is native to Eurasia, including the waters of North, Baltic, Black, Caspian, Aral, and Asian sea drainages, an area spanning Central and Eastern Europe from Germany and Poland to Western and Central Asia. The native distribution of this species extends as far north as southern Sweden and as far south as Greece, Turkey, and Iran. The species has since been introduced and established populations throughout much of Europe, largely owing to its popularity as a sport fish. It has been extremely successful in expanding its range southward and westward in the Mediterranean basin and has colonized all watersheds in France as well as the Po River Valley in Italy. Reports of the species being documented in areas such as Tunisia, Algeria, Brazil, and China have also been made. Although Wells catfish has not been reported in Canada or the United States, it is believed that if it is ever introduced, it will fundamentally alter the food webs in Ontario's water bodies. This species is one of the largest freshwater species in the world and has been given nicknames such as the Ebro Monster, the European Maneater, and Man-Eating Catfish. The fish will use deep holes, dense vegetation, woody debris, tree roots, rocks, and or boulders, as well as hollow riverbanks and submerged hollow structures as resting sites. Wells catfish exhibit strong habitat prevences even within invaded regions and can become territorial of a preferred location. Number 2. The Goliath Tigerfish Tigerfish is basically a nickname given to several different species of African fish. Since they're all vicious, sharp-toothed creatures, the ferocious name is a perfect option. Anyway, the Goliath tigerfish looks like a regular fish on steroids. It is four times the size of a piranha and has a series of sharp, jagged fangs sticking out of its mouth. Its scales are white, yellow, brown, and gray with a golden flush around the face. And creepy enough, the eyes are all pupil, so it always looks like the Goliath tigerfish is constantly alert and ready to attack. The dorsal fin is upright, which might give you this shark vibes. Three smaller fins are also found below the belly. This species of fish measures anywhere from 4 to 5 feet long when fully grown and typically weighs between 90 to 100 pounds. Number 1. Giant Stingray The giant freshwater stingray might just be the world's largest freshwater fish. It's also cloaked in mystery, and no one is sure how many giant stingrays are left which habitats they prefer or even if they ever venture into the ocean, where their more commonly known relatives live. These ancient species have changed a little over many millions of years and can now reach up to 16 and a half feet long, including the tail. There are reports of giant stingrays weighing up to 1,300 pounds, though such accounts are not verified because weighing the enormous and awkward animal has proven to be pretty difficult. Brown to gray in color, the giant stingrays are wide and flat in form, and they sport long, whip-like tails. They are known to prowl river systems in Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia, often burying themselves in sandy or silty river bottoms. They breathe through holes or spiracles on the top of their bodies. These fascinating creatures are able to locate prey, usually clams and crabs, with sensors located around their mouth that can detect an animal's electrical field. And although stingrays do not readily attack humans, they are known to be one of the few megafishes that can pose a real danger to those who handle them. As you must know, each ray has a sharp bar on the base of its tail that can easily penetrate human skin and bone, much like a hunting arrow. This stinger can be as long as 15 inches and works by typically introducing toxins to the victim's wound. Experts, however, stress that the rays are rather non-aggressive and inquisitive. And that's all for the 20 biggest river monsters ever caught. Be sure to leave a comment to let us know what you think. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!